Fingal is the fastest growing county in Ireland. We must ensure that we grow sustainably and reduce our emissions and impacts on the environment. At Fingal County Council, we aim to show leadership on climate action and are working with stakeholders to build a new way forward. Fingal County Council has developed an energy management system and has made energy efficiency improvements of 34% across own operations since 2009. We're transitioning to a fully electric fleet. Energy performance contracts will ensure further savings on larger buildings. The energy performance of social housing stock is being improved continually. All new housing estates are being developed to the highest building energy standards. Our energy agency, Kadima, have developed a home energy saving kit which can be borrowed from any Fingal library. Fingal County Council is putting the infrastructure in place to allow people make more sustainable lifestyle choices. We're developing greenways and cycleways through National Transport Authority funding. We're focused on boosting active travel across the county. We're building a stronger, safer network of walking and cycling routes. Our school streets and school zones have inspired more children and parents to walk and cycle to school. We're supporting bike and car sharing schemes. We're also running promotional campaigns to encourage people to walk and cycle. As our coastline is particularly vulnerable to the effects of climate change, the Council is working with all relevant national agencies and local stakeholders to build resilience to coastal change. We aim to find sustainable, effective solutions to complex problems. The Council is working to identify sites where space can be made for flood water. This can alleviate potential flooding problems while also improving habitats and water quality. Sustainable urban drainage systems of various scales are being included in new developments. As improvements on historical piped networks, these systems can reduce surface water runoff following heavy rain, improve water quality and provide an array of biodiversity, anemone and recreational benefits. In Fingal, we have a vibrant network of regional parks. Parks and open spaces combine a range of functions, including habitat for biodiversity, carbon storage, water management and amenity. This network combined provides our green infrastructure and we are working to continually enhance it. We are increasingly managing areas of grassland as wildflower meadows in line with National Pollinator Plan to provide food sources for pollinating insects. Fingal County Council provides infrastructure to enable people to recycle by providing green banks and recycling centres. These accept a wide range of materials. In addition, discarded musical instruments and bicycles are being brought back to life. Contactless drinking water fountains are being installed to help reduce single-use plastic bottles. We provide allotments where people can grow their own food and help reduce food waste. We've made a lot of progress, but we have a lot more to do. Join us on the journey to a cleaner, healthier and more active society here in Fingal. Welcome to Dublin Climate Action Week 2021. On behalf of Fingal County Council, I'm delighted to welcome you to this climate action themed event. This week, 13th to 19th of September, each of the four Dublin local authorities, in partnership with CODEMA, Dublin's Energy Agency, and the Dublin Climate Action Regional Office, CARO, will host a range of online and in-person events across the Dublin region. These events will showcase the ongoing efforts that the Dublin local authorities are making to address climate change. The events aim to inspire, share knowledge and highlight best practice in taking climate action as we all work towards creating a healthier Dublin. Climate change is a global problem, but it impacts every one of us at a local level. By attending these events, you are increasing your knowledge and awareness of climate action. No action is too big or too small and taking action together will help us to build a more sustainable future for all citizens across the Dublin region. 
I hope that you enjoy this event. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for attending today's webinar. We are delighted to welcome you to Fingal's Reuse and Repair Initiatives in Fingal webinar. Just to note, there will be no Q&A in this webinar as we'll be playing a pre-made recording. This film will begin shortly. One, two, three, four. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm with Fingal County Council for 21 years. I uh, the supervisor here at the Estuary Recycling Centre in Swords. So it's 15 years here now. We take in at the moment up to 5,000 vehicles come into the recycling centre uh, for the week. There's a lot more people recycling now. Um, a lot of stuff coming in now with, with all your cardboards and all your bulky waste. So there is, it's getting busier and busier every year. Everything now, like, people are bringing absolutely everything and you wouldn't from mattresses to sofas to cardboards, kettles, everything that you can think of in your house that's getting recycled now. People now are at the mindset it's it's not a dump anymore, it's a recycling centre. So people are where you where they put stuff and it's put into their into their proper skips and proper cages. And the likes of the paints and all the hazard waste well, everything is recycled a lot better now. And we know it's now over as well, the last eighteen months or so as well with the green waste, obviously a lot more people at home now doing their gardens, edge cuttings, grass cuttings and all that kind of stuff for, for green waste. So they're home doing their gardens and cleaning out their house and cleaning out their sheds that haven't been done in a couple of years. And the likes of the paint, there's paint cans coming in there, probably about 40 years old. So we're getting all that stuff now. Like Some of the stuff does get given away to charities. Uh, brick or brack stuff to uh, enable Ireland. So they get a good bit of stuff off us. So a lot of stuff goes there. Rediscovery in Ballymun, they get the bikes off us and they get paint off as well. So there is stuff there that the lads really look forward to giving to charities and all that. At first I would have people coming to recycle centres before they do come and fill their cars up with all their electrical goods or even furniture they have at home or whatever the case may be. See does family member want it, do they need it? Or even their next door neighbour or even someone up the street that mightn't have the money to go out and buy a uh, suite of furniture or to go and buy a cabinet for their, their kids' bedrooms or whatever the case may be. Someone out there might want it. A lot of good stuff does come in. Someone might get used to it. Just so, just think of someone else that might be looking for it rather than bring it up to put in skips. My name is Maeve Fox and I work for Fingal County Council as Environmental Awareness Officer. And the role is to run projects in the community such as circular economy projects or waste prevention projects and also to educate the public about the environment and different aspects of the environment. So it's a really good job and I enjoy, really enjoy my position. I'm very passionate about waste prevention and about spreading the word that it's so valuable to the environment and to the earth to be reusing all the resources that we take from the earth and to, I suppose, make people realise that and to educate people, young and old, that most things can be reused and all of the materials that we use come from the earth, ultimately. So you're talking about wood, metal, mining and extraction, so it's really important that we use them properly to their fullest potential. As an environmental officer, what I see every day is communities coming to me looking for funding for different projects. To live sustainably and to use waste in a circular fashion is really good starting point for communities. What we see is paint and bicycles and instruments and items like that that can be reused in the community which is really good to bring it back to the community level. What we see in the recycling centres unfortunately is that people bring in really good materials and items that can be reused by other people but maybe there is nowhere else for them to bring. Like they can bring things to charity shops, certain things, but there's other things that they can't bring in to donate. So it ends up getting wasted. So what we'd like to see is more of these kind of projects where there's certain objects are diverted from landfill and away from the bulky waste and they're reused by other people. The four areas that we work on in Fingal for waste prevention are Enable Ireland, which people donate uh, household items, so that's really good, we are able to divert those from landfill. Second area is paint, the third area is bicycles and the fourth area is instruments. So those are the four areas that we work on in the recycling centres in Fingal. With the Enable Ireland project we get a lot of household items donated. So we give these to Enable Ireland and they give them on to members of the public. So we can get anything from clocks and pictures to couches and chairs and different household items which are really useful to other people. 
The reason they're there is because maybe some people just don't need them or don't want them anymore for some reason, but they're actually in perfect condition, so it's a really great project. The other three projects we have running in the recycling centre are a little bit more about recycling and repair. What we'd really like to see out of these projects is that, number one, the public would realise the value of their waste. Secondly, that um, you know, people in power, in local authorities and in different organisations would also realise the value of waste. And thirdly, that other local authorities would maybe start up enterprises like this, or maybe other organisations could start up social enterprises where people actually fix these items that are brought in and they could be reused in circulation then for the public. So the first project that we work on is the paint. A lot of people bring in paint because maybe they have too much left over or they don't need it anymore. So when it comes into our cells, we are able to recycle it. So it's really good that people bring it in rather than dumping it. It's really reassuring from where I'm standing when we see all these volumes of paint coming in that it actually isn't the end of the story and the life of that paint. It's actually, we're going to do something else with it. Everybody ends up with leftover paint at some point because you know, you might not go for the same colour or you might be finished with it and you don't have any use for it, but it's really good. You can bring it into the Estuary Recycling Centre and we can put it to good use from there. The second project we work on is the Bicycles Project, where we recycle and repair a huge amount of bicycles that are coming through the recycling centres. And where are they coming from? I suppose people are finished with them for one reason or another. They might be rusted, they might be apart broken, maybe the child doesn't want it anymore, maybe the adult doesn't want it for some reason, or they might just be sitting in a shed for 20 years and next thing they end up at the recycling centres. But I know myself, I got all my children's bicycles at the recycling centres. I have my own bicycles for decades, but like, there's nothing wrong with the bicycles. They actually just need a little bit of work on them and uh, we can get them back into running order with a little bit of repair. In general we get a lot of bicycles that are actually reusable and I don't know why people don't actually just try, you know, try and find somebody you know, to, to take it off their hands but they end up coming into the recycling centres and it's great that we can actually work on them then to repair them and restore them. The third circular initiative that we work on in the recycling centre is the Instruments Project. And that's been running for the last two years. And what we see is people coming in donating instruments now at this stage. We have guitars, all sorts of guitars, six string, 12 string, left-handed, right-handed, small guitars, big guitars. Then we have, we have fiddles, we have uh, wind instruments with lots of drums and loads of keyboards. It's great to be able to see those coming in and we try and find homes for them. The reason uh, it started was because I was, I'm, a, I'm a musician myself and I was visiting somebody in an addiction centre and I was in a room which was supposed to be a music room and there was actually no instruments at all and I thought, oh my, there's loads of instruments coming through the uh, recycling centres so let's put them to good use. So I started, uh, I asked the staff to put them to one side and we started to repair and restore them from there. So it's really exciting to see what comes in. We get accordions and concertinas and all sorts. They might have a guitar in the house for the last 20 years, maybe that nobody's played. They might uh, have been a former musician themselves. They might have children who bought, there was instruments bought for lessons at some stage. Uh, another one might be where they have an instrument in the attic for the last 20 years, and maybe somebody even has passed on and they want to put this instrument to good use. And that's really nice to see. It's really lovely to see instruments coming in that uh, you know have a legacy behind them. When it comes to the paint, we put it to one side and we gather it for the Rediscovery Centre in Ballymun and they come and they take away what's going to be reusable and they work it through their own treatment over there and then we end up with a brand new product that can be used by everybody. Hi guys, I'm Dave from Rediscovery Centre here in Ballymun. A sneak preview of how we actually recycle the paint that we take back to recycle centres. First thing we do is dispense all the paint that we get for the various colours that we need into the, these two 200 litre drums, then into this machine and it's mixed and then dispensed into 5.6 litre and 8.6 litre buckets. We dispense the paint from these 200 litre drums into our buckets. And that's a lovely flow of paint. This paint now is lovely and clean, cleaned up, recycled and ready for the customer. 
we also work in partnership with the Rediscovery Centre for the bicycles. So we collect up the bicycles and we hold them there for them and then their staff come and have a look and see what can be repaired. They might keep some of the bicycles for parts, they might totally restore bicycles and they work on them in their own centre in Ballymun and sell them there. I'm Mark Dunn, I'm the Programme Manager for Rediscover Cycling here in the Rediscovery Centre in Ballymun. Uh, our bike recycling project, what we do is we collect bikes from recycling centres such as the SG Recycling Centre. We uh, pre-process them a little bit on site, we um, check the condition of them. Uh, most of them we can bring back here and reuse and recycle. Some we'll uh, take for parts, uh, we'll store parts to use later on, but most of the bikes we can recycle. Once we take the bike into the workshop, we strip it down completely, uh, remanufacture it, check all the parts, uh, usually replace cables and bearings, sometimes tires, anything that needs to be done using spare parts or new when necessary. Uh, we'll have a team of uh, people on community employment or TUS uh, training to be bike mechanics in the process as well. And then all the bikes that we uh, fix up will be for sale in the eco store as well. With the instruments what happens is we initially assess them at the recycling centre to see how bad they are, you know, if they're viable. And even if they're not viable, sometimes we get small parts off them. So uh, we bring the instruments to musicians that are part of the project and they repair them, which is great. Uh, so it's like musicians for musicians, that's really nice. Hello, I am Ivan McCabe. I am a musician from Cavan. There is unfortunately a lot of instruments that are dumped unnecessarily or unused in houses. Instruments projects is really just to give them a new lease on life and maybe give them to some people who might make use of them. There's one thing I came across quite frequently, unfortunately, is a lot of people who would have the intent to play an instrument maybe take it off for a couple of lessons and it would end up sitting in a cupboard or a wardrobe or an attic gathering dust somebody might do something as simple as break a string not know how to replace it and that'd be another reason why it wouldn't be used and because it might sit in an attic or cupboard <clears throat> or wardrobe for so long they get the impression that it's unusable but it obviously is, and just a little bit of care and attention, a bit of cleaning and refurbishment, and it's good to go again. It's a great feeling to be able to give a new lease on life to previously unwanted or unused instruments, and maybe bring some happiness to somebody, somewhere. Well, my involvement in the instruments project is obviously in the refurbishment end of it, which I'm delighted to do. I'm delighted that it's being done. I think it's a project that should be done everywhere. Definitely should be kept going because there is a need for this. There is an awful lot of waste in regards to instruments. Company projects or people that are trying to get some sort of community-based musical idea off the ground is a perfect opportunity for them to even experiment with anyone who is interested in music just to give them that little taste. I firmly believe that it should be a countrywide initiative. This is an example of something that might be sitting in a wardrobe or an attic. This is a perfectly usable guitar, it's just checking the machine heads on it. The only thing that really needs to is maybe the strings and as we can see there is a string missing. So I will show quickly just how to pop this little peg here. Put that there, take out our strings string we're looking for is a G string. These ones are kind of color coded with red, white and blue. So the G and that is a blue. What we do is we will place this string with the ball end in here. And as you can see, there's a little groove on the peg. We'll follow that string in with the peg, push it in, pull it just so it comes back in on itself. Take this and we will place this up and through the hole here. We leave ourselves a little bit of slack. That's just so it can wrap itself around the machine head and turn. What we want the machine head to do is come up and around on itself. This thing here is a string winder. That just makes the job a little bit easier. 
it's great that the paint can be recycled and it's really good for the environment but we also go a step further where we actually enable communities to use this paint. Fingal County Council actually subsidise the paint to give it uh, and supply it to communities that need it and they might need it for estate walls for maybe community buildings or for buildings in the community that might need to be painted up. So there's external exterior paint and then there's an interior paint as well, which is great. So it's great to be able to provide this. And one recent one was up in, in Taylor Hill in Valbriggans. That was a really, really nice project to work on. I was promoting the fact that, that communities in Fingal could contact us for the paint and we were approached by Taylor Hill and they um, asked us for a lot of different colours so that they could do some graffiti art project on the walls up in Balbriggan. So that was really nice to be able to actually see that uh, come about and loads of other communities have done similar work as well. Hello, my name is Lizzie Loon. Um, I am here on behalf of the Balbriggan Community Murals, uh, which was really started last year during lockdown when we started painting the harbour containers. It's continued since then. Um, we have a, a huge wall of hearts down on the harbour, which was used to cover up very um, racist um, graffiti. So our project here in Taylor's Hill uh, Lane started um, in April uh, where we were assisting Hemerson who is taking care of this area and making it more biodiverse and, and making it an area that's more welcome for people to walk along. So he asked Balbriggan Community Murals, which is part of Balbriggan Tidy Towns, to involve the community in painting the walls here. We always allow young people to paint what they want. So we have a big kind of diverse uh, range of paintings here, uh, but we also have a huge diverse range of nationalities uh, that take part in, in the painting. The paint from the Rediscovery Centre has made it so much more manageable. This is a huge area, so as you can see, we need a lot of paint um, and Dave has been most helpful in the Rediscovery Centre. Uh, I worked professional capacity as part of my work as a global citizenship vegetator uh, with the Rediscovery Centre for years. It's always familiar with what they do, but also had got paint uh, myself. But on a voluntary basis, um, it's made so much of, of a difference. Um, we also have, tonight I'm working with the, the Cub Scouts um, in Balbriggan, so they're using the paint as well and being able to avail of paint has been really really useful to them. We have an ethos in our group to make sure that we don't really use things that are disposable so all of our so even our cloths are um, donated from the community if they're throwing them out so using the paint has meant that we're also like you know following that through as being a very very sustainable group. Balbrig and Tidy Towns itself is a very like you know the way we would have that, that ethos. The fact that Fingal County Council were offering this rediscovery paint for free um, has made a massive difference. It means that we can continue painting throughout the summer and into the autumn. Uh, so thank you so much Fingal County Council uh, for, for working with the Rediscovery Centre on this initiative. Everybody is welcome to come and paint with us. A child or an adult arrives and asks, asks if, they want, if they can join in. Uh, we just facilitate that the best that we can. Hello, my name is Dia and I'll be talking about the pollinators walk. Since last summer, we have been like, kind of like connecting it to the ecosystem. So like all the bees and other insects can come here so we can make a more happier place to live in. Because of climate change, we have to balance the weather and our planet. What I enjoy most is the there are loads of bright paintings everywhere and there's loads of people here but we can also have people from other places and that will like the more the better we can make this place a good place to walk my name is Gregory and I'm volunteering here just to do a bit of painting for the community center it was even a bad way when I started off but it looks well now great paint great to use the recycled stuff and everybody's happy with it. We're happy enough, cleans up the area. Similar to the paint, it's great to be able to keep the bicycles in circulation. When the bicycles are upcycled, they're as good as new. They're really good for your pocket because they're sold at a fraction of the price. 
They're really good for the environment because they don't have any emissions associated with them. They're really good for your health, keep you fit. Um, it's really good for getting around. So they're available to all Fingal communities, these upcycled bikes. This month, for example, we were able to give one to Darius in Balbriggan for himself and his family. And we also donated one to the staff in Mountview Resource Centre in Dublin 15. And the staff there will use that for going around the local community, which really adds to the, you know, the whole personality and the interrelationships there. Fantastic! I love the purple and the shiny wheels. <laughs> I'm Darius. I'm here locally from Bulbriggan. Uh, I'm very delighted to get this bike today. Um, I'll be bringing it at home to share with me and my mother. It'll serve good to go down to the shops and go around the town. Thanks so much. We're absolutely delighted with this um, here at Mountview Family Resource Centre. Um, I'm the manager here, Margaret McLaughlin, and um, I suppose Jordan Cove at the last year and a half has been so tough. And But one good thing that came out of that time, that period of our work in the community, was that we spent a lot of time outreaching to the community, visiting people, and I suppose that's one thing we learned, that we really want to make sure we keep that aspect of the work going and not get used to being always doing the work from inside the building. So really, this is going to be put to such good use in that it's for the staff here with the project. Um, we're going to keep it here, and then when we're doing our outreach and visiting different parts of the communities and visiting different people in the various parts of Blanchardstown, um, this bike is going to be a great asset to our work. Community workers should be really seen in the community and really be not driving so much. So being out and about, walking, having the time to speak to people. So this is going to be a great asset to our work. Thanks so much. We're delighted with it. Once the instruments are repaired, what we do is we look for places in the community to give them to. So we have autism centres, uh, addiction centres, migration centres, we have schools, there's individuals in the community who might just want an instrument, and then there's uh, other, other individuals who come along uh, looking for instruments, and we give them out freely to, to communities, so it's really great to be able to do that. Last year, we got an email from the Simon community down in Cork, and one of the staff there had seen the instruments project on Facebook or something, and she emailed us to see if we could give a guitar and an amp to one of their users. So uh, it was fantastic to be able to actually provide a really good quality guitar um, with an amplifier. I sent it down to Cork and they actually sent us back a video of the guy playing the guitar and he was actually a professional guitarist. So it was absolutely brilliant now to be able to do that. It makes it all worthwhile. So good to be able to reuse those instruments. One of the very special aspects of the instruments project is that we can actually enable people to teach others. And it's really good for people living on their own or people, you know, in the communities who just, uh, they need a kind of assistance to learn instruments or whatever. It's really good to be able to provide that. It's very rewarding for me to actually be able to give over those instruments and to see the look on people's faces when they get the instruments is just priceless. Oh, thank you so much. Well, my name's Charles Ward, and I'm from originally. I'm from well, I'm from Parkdale Town Drive in Mulhoud. This resort centre is for for all different individuals. My area is the men's group, and uh, I'm there quite a few years now. I came to I was 14. So that's 50 years of me. Music means the world to me because I just feel good for my mental health. It's very good for that, you know. I, Teach the grandkids how to play. The instruments, part of the, the instruments are recycled, which is a very, very good thing. I'm delighted to receive this instrument today because it's going to be it's going into the men's group, and one of the lads in the men's group wants to learn the guitar. I'm going to give him lessons. He's never played, so I says, "Look, I'll give him a few lessons." That's where things are now with the lockdowns, and you have people doing things they never thought they could do. It's been great to encourage people. It gives them that lift, you know. Terrific idea, it's great to get recycled, it's a fantastic job and uh, to get, get guitars like that is really super. Colors changing hue Morning fields of evergreen Where the face is blind and pain I still beneath the artist's loving hands Now I think I know 
What you trying to say to me? I remember when I started with Fingal 21 years ago. The recycling centre was never, never even a thought. Oh, when stuff did come to the recycling centre, that was it. That was the end of it. But now we've now I've noticed myself over the last couple of years that it can be repurposed, can be reused, such like the paint, the likes of uh, bikes and the likes of instruments. And it's been sent back out to the community, being used again, and it's great to see that someone's getting good use of it and is enjoying it. We all need to take a positive climate action. Each of us can do our own little bit, whether it will be the prevention of resource extraction, prevention of emissions, we can all reuse things. So we'll just try and think in a circular way, we can actually get this, get this right and uh, reuse all of the items that we have instead of making more new ones. People think that because we're a small country, we don't need to make a lot of changes. But the reality is that we're a very high emitting emissions country. And we do need to take steps. We each have a responsibility to lower our impact on the environment. If we can each take a small step, then we will have a bigger impact globally. One, We hope you all enjoyed that very informative and creative film showcasing some of the reuse and repair initiatives that are being implemented across Fingal. On behalf of everyone here at Fingal County Council, we want to thank you for attending this evening's webinar. Grivmila Mahagwiv.